in the chamber here, we have the ability to completely control the environment that we're going to that we subjected the F-35 to. Kinley Lab, they have seen virtually every aircraft in the Western world for decades, for the last number of 40 years or so. The F-35 is different. And to prop an airplane up on a stand 12 feet in the air so that it could hover or take off vertically or fly with full afterburner is something that no one had conceived of or seen previous to the F-35 coming here. Our ability to hover, to take off vertically, to land vertically is unique. And the ducting, so the exhaust systems to take all that air out of this chamber and push it out the back is a completely different animal for them to have handled. There's lots of ingenuity that went into the engineering to accommodate our airplane and the special considerations we needed to prove to everybody that it could operate on the extremes of cold to the extremes of heat. The 35 is like every fighter jet in the Western world. We know that we're going to fly it in its lifetime from the extremes of uh, the Arctic freezing north down to the heat of Death Valley in, uh, in California. And a jet has to be able to operate in the hottest of temperatures and the harshest of cold so that a fighter pilot can get in that jet, take it out every day and do the mission we expect from him. So when we do climatic testing, we saw that we know that we've designed the aircraft better than what it will ever experience in the 40 plus years of its lifetime.